Recent polls suggest that a notable portion of Labour voters consider the St George's Cross to be racist and divisive, contrasting sharply with the Conservative supporters. Welcome Jack Rowlett to Rick's Europe, political commentator. Hey, thank you for having me. Can you start off by telling us the controversy around the St George's Cross? Yeah, so it's been St George's Day uh, in England this week. Um, and it's brought to a head a lot of issues that have kind of been bubbling away for some time. Particularly, we have the Labour Party, our left-wing party uh, in the UK, who uh, were extremely left-wing um, a few years ago under the leadership of Jeremy Corbyn, very socialist, and hated the use of uh, the St George's Cross and the Union flag as well. They hated the use of these symbols, thought that they were racist and divisive. Now, under the leadership of Keir Starmer, the current leader, they're using these symbols more, they're trying to reclaim them, and they're trying to present themselves as the true patriotic party um, for England and the UK. Um, and they've been using the St George's Cross on some of their leaflets, they've been promoting its use on social media. And that's brought a lot of uh, kind of leftist cranks out of the woodwork, really, who have been complaining about its use, saying it's racist, it's colonialist, it's divisive, that it shouldn't be being used. And there's a poll out this week that said one in eight Labour voters um, don't like the use of the flag. They think it's divisive and racist. But I think what that demonstrates, actually, is that the majority don't think that. And I think it is, it's a vocal minority in England who think that it's racist and divisive. And actually, most people um, don't think that but they're maybe scared to use it. Maybe they, they don't want to use it because they think that they'll be judged if they do. And so I think what's really important, I think what Keir Starmer's trying to do um, is reclaim the flag, because if we leave it just to those people um, who are racist and are divisive, because there are some who are, who use that flag and use those symbols, but if you leave it just to those people, then that's who it's going to be associated with. So it's, uh, it's by um, normal people using it, it's by normal people being openly patriotic and embracing those symbols and embracing that culture that you normalise it and you take it away from those um, groups that you don't want it to be associated with. So I think that's what Keir Starmer is trying to do and I think that would be a, a more positive step for England. What has been the reaction of the public? Uh, is it a country divided regarding this issue? Well, it really uh, it actually came to a head. A, a good example of the division is uh, the England football strip changed uh, about a month ago, and they changed the uh, St. George's Cross on the strip. So they changed it from the traditional red and white, and they made it purple instead as a kind of inclusivity and diversity um, measure. I think most people thought that that was really ridiculous. And I think the thing is, in, in England, I think most people, they neither associate it with it being particularly positive and important to them or it being particularly racist and divisive. I think there's a small minority of people on the far left who will kind of kick up a fuss and who, who don't like their own country, really, um, quite frankly. And I think that, that's the problem for them. Actually, most of the country, they don't have a problem with it. It's, so it's not a case necessarily of the country being divided. It's a case of a very small but extremely vocal minority um, trying to stamp their opinion on everybody else. You mentioned that it was St. George's Day uh, this week. How different is it uh, with attitude towards carrying the flag when it isn't a special day? Uh, is that when the sort of the arguments of racism occur? Yeah, so I think when it's not St. George's Day and particularly when it's not either the World Cup or the Euros in the football, then you see a lot of a lot of flags. But outside of that, there are there are complaints, um, you know, if you see them being flown by some people. Um, and I think it, this has sort of kind of changed over time because when I was a child, when I was at school, you know, we would celebrate St. George's Day. You know, we would use the flag, we would kind of paint it on our faces. I don't think that's done anymore. So I think over time it has become maybe a bit more of a taboo, but I don't think that's because most people don't think it's an acceptable symbol or most people don't want to use it. It's because of a, a, a small minority. And I think it's really important that you, that you reclaim that symbol and we do start saying, actually, it's not just a thing for St. George's Day. It's not just a thing for football. It's okay to you know, identify as English. It's okay to, um, to like that flag. It's okay to, um, to like those symbols and to be proud of them all year round. And, and hopefully I think maybe we can move more towards that position. Now we're seeing both the left and the right um, in the UK embracing those symbols um, and that culture more and more. Thank you so much, uh, Jack Rowlett, for being here with Rick's Europe, political commentator. Thank and thank you for watching Rick's Europe.